All right, let's watch the whole thing here. I see through her little act. Her act of being a nice person who brings you gifts. Bingo. Okay. So you are pretty open to changes uh, looking at your email. I think the first time I watched this, this is not like 100% confusion, but... I see through her little act. Because the cat does this... I was assuming, you know, especially because the jaw is not opening, <laughs> uh, that the cat was talking. The the tricky thing is that once you're past that moment, and I know he moves that when he says her act, but then we're supposed to look here, but we're almost not seeing, I mean, not seeing this eye at all, but we're covering this in this current layout form here. Uh, it's kind of hard to connect, and then as it continues to talk, the cat doesn't move. That's kind of working with the audio. So if you just watch this and imagine that what we're hearing is actually coming from the cat. Her act of being a nice person who brings you gifts. And I know that you wouldn't say it is as you play. There's just something about we're supposed to listen to this character, but we're not quite connecting because of the face. And there's so much movement here that we're always looking at the cat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the right idea. It's very subjective, but I'm not quite sure I'm connecting enough with this. It's a bit tricky too, as there's no audio. And then it just suddenly... Like, you already have a move. And then it kind of clicks in. I'm not sure if you have more. I hear birds in the background, so I don't know if you can have a bit of a ambient sound with little birds and stuff that kind of matches the the room tone here yes. Bingo. you can't really copy paste anything because they're always talking so there's a couple things the sound suddenly starts and there's already like to me it's almost like the cat would be saying i see during here and you almost have a bigger head move i see and this is your c part instead of starting here And then the other thing is, I wonder if, a staging-wise, you want to bring in, thinking out loud, I'm not saying this is all correct, but I'm kind of going through in my head what we could do. Imagine the dog would be here. Just a bit, the staging is a bit nicer than being so cut off, not cut off, but so edgy on this here. And what if, this is going to, destroy everything i'm thinking out loud right so you can go what i don't want to do this i'm thinking out loud here imagine the dog is a bit more here and the cat is here so center there but they're both on that side and then here the ball will be here and then you would just see part of maybe a leg upper body and an arm and just a finishing move of a character dropping the ball and then exiting and then they will, they will both kind of follow eye darts and head moves in the cat too. And then, let's see, imagine, I'm imagining here in real time. Uh, so you have that and it's very clear that the character brought this. And then when she says that, we're connecting that, okay, that's what they're referring to. Because right now, the ball and everything, I don't know, it's all a bit nebulous. I'm being super picky here. I mean, it's, I mean, once you watch it, you understand, oh, okay, I know what they're thinking, but... Or what they're meaning, but I, I wonder if we can make it just clear. Yeah, just the the main thing I'm reacting to is that all he's saying, I'm starting to connect it with those moves, but then it's not. It's the dog actually saying it, and she's not really listening. She's kind of just playing with it, and then she says, "Bingo!" I don't know. I'm not quite sure, and I hate to just say do the whole thing over with something else. Huh. But I know what you're saying here. In the email, you're saying that you want to, um, you want to capture very typical cat behavior and mix them in with the audio. I just wonder if we can get more or different behavior that fits the audio and and the conversation more. So where she can do things and then stop and then look back where we can tell they're they're engaged together. So if I'm 
Extrapolating again with my ID that ruins everything. With the cat here, ball here. And then... I see through her little axe. You imagine you're almost mirroring this where she's here and goes down and ends here. She would end looking at, um, you know, at the, the ball. Then stops. Hold on. And when he says her act, that's when she would turn her head and then look at the dog. And she, you know, take a couple steps. But she would turn around and then they would look, they would face each other. So there's that connection there. And after nice person, you then you could potentially start playing with it, and then it would be here. So then you would be almost around here, and then you could just end it like that. But I still wonder if this is too much. It's too big. There's too much energy for then the cat to be all relaxed and go bingo. So I wonder if you can take this idea of now they're the cat is playing with it. But toning it down, get, <coughs> excuse me, doing something a bit smaller with it. It's not this ginormous jump in that action. So it's a bit more relaxed so that then it ends with this, with a relaxed cat pose. Bingo. And with her saying bingo. So to me, the whole performance would be, yeah, just a bit more, yeah, I know what she's doing. Yeah, bingo. It's that kind of feel. And I feel like that amount of action kind of betrays that feel. That energy and the feel of the voice. I see through her her act of being a nice person. And I think if you have dog here, a bit further out there, right? Cat here, ball. You just see that arm plop down the, the thing, and then arm disappears. I see through her and then you do basically this idea down here. Her stops, and then her act. She looks back, their faces are connecting visually, right, to look at each other. He says all this, and then because there's a pause, nice person, and then right before that pause, the cat starts to play, and that's kind of him pausing because he's now suddenly looking at the cat and, and uh, kind of processing that the cat is playing with this, and that's why the pauses could work. And that's kind of it. So, I don't know. That is very destructive. <laughs> my notes are super destructive. Um, but I don't know. That's just Those are my very subjective thoughts on this. Because even here, the dog looks this way. We don't quite see the eyes. Cat looks this way. I just never quite feel like they're connecting together. And I'm... I'm even though I'm giving you horrible notes by destroying what you did. To me, this would feel a bit more connected. Where they're both on the same side. So they're not, they're not going to fight. Like visually to me, they're together. And then with that color, that's a nice separate thing where maybe, you know, the, the adults' colors are, are green or something. So there's just a very clear connection and that's this side. And then the cat goes onto this side and looks back. There's, a, there's complexity in this. They look at each other, they connect. Then there's still some playfulness. And then at the end, that where again they can connect like this and there's movement in the cat. I don't know. This that's kind of how I would imagine the shot in my head. Now, that being said, let me know. <laughs> email me. Let me know what you think. Uh, and we can email each other and kind of do a bit of a brainstorming to see how much you want to uh change, if at all. I mean, you're saying you're open to changes, but I know this was a very destructive feedback round. So let me know what you want to do and we can uh plan it out together all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you